Welcome to a Legendarium special about the incredible robots of Leonardo da Vinci. According to a number of accounts, Leonardo da Vinci may have invented three robots during the High Renaissance. During the High Renaissance of the late 1400s and early 1500s, Europe saw extraordinary developments in art, sculpture, architecture, literature, and other human endeavors. During his long life, Leonardo da Vinci became known as a painter, engineer, sculptor, scientist, and architect. By mastering so many fields, men of his time and all time came to regard da Vinci as the greatest man of his age. Leonardo da Vinci carried out extensive anatomical research, dissecting cadavers and making detailed drawings of their interiors. As a result, he developed a deep understanding of how muscles enabled bones and joints to move. With this knowledge, he also fashioned many unusual inventions, including three possible automata or robotic devices. It is not clear if he built any or all of them, though there are reports of them in operation during his life. No complete designs exist for any of them, though modern experts have enough to speculate about how they operated. These three include a self-propelled cart, a robotic knight that could stand, sit, or cross his arms, and a mechanical lion manufactured for King Francis I of France. Both the Codex Atlanticus and the Codex Madrid mention a mechanical knight built by Leonardo da Vinci. It wore a typical German-Italian suit of armor from the late 15th century and could perform human-like movements. The first believed demonstration of this machine took place in Milan during the year 1495 to impress Leonardo's then patron Ludovico Sforza of Milan. Leonardo left the assembled notables thunderstruck, for they never imagined seeing a machine that resembled an anatomically correct knight, let alone one that moved. Leonardo da Vinci designed it to sit up, wave its arms, move its head, and open and close its jaw. It may have even made sounds to the accompaniment of automated drums, for there are drawings of an automatic drum roll in the automaton drawing. There are many other drawings of the robotic knight, but any modern recreation of this automaton is based partly on speculation. It appears to have been constructed using two independent systems. First, it used a system of articulated legs, ankles, knees, and hips, along with elbows, wrists, and hands. The arms appear to have been powered by a programmable controller with legs powered by an external crank and cable. Second, Leonardo's famous Codex Atlanticus described a mechanism often called the self-propelled cart. The young Leonardo likely created the design between 1478 and 1480, when he still lived in Florence, the hotbed of the Renaissance. This famous drawing is a complex model of an automaton. It seems that Leonardo devised the cart for use in the theater. Like other automata, many specific features of the self-propelled cart are unknown. Modern scholars believe that Leonardo programmed and wound up the device by the mainsprings, which are spiral springs under the horizontal cogwheels. Lower wheels and a unique crossbow system helped to power the cart as well. Leonardo da Vinci also designed the cart with programmable pegs and blocks, which allowed the cart to move in a predetermined path on its own. It even included a handbrake which did not require a human to operate it. 
Third, there are stories that Leonardo made a mechanical lion. The design of the mechanical lion is unknown for certain, but the drawings show a series of pulleys and ropes that moved the lion and opened its chest to display a bouquet of lilies. Based on the surviving sketches, the Italian Cultural Institute in Paris reconstructed the 16th century robot for research and display. The reconstruction of the lion is 6 feet 7 inches tall and 10 feet long. After walking forward on its own power, it opened its chest to reveal a cluster of lilies for King Francis I of France. It is said that Leonardo presented this machine to King Francis as an amusement during a banquet hosted by Florentine merchants. Because the lion is the symbol of Florence and the lilies are the symbol of France, this automaton represented friendship between the two realms. The mechanical lion is also said to have appeared during the peace talks between King Francis and Pope Leo X in Bologna, held on December 19, 1515. Later, Leonardo took the lion when he moved to Chateau du Clos in France. He caused a great stir by demonstrating the lion at the Festival of Argentan in 1517. While crude by modern standards, these automata are revered as the first robots and robotic vehicle, which have inspired a new field of human endeavor likely greater than what even Leonardo da Vinci dare to imagine. That wraps things up for this episode of The Legendarium. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, press like. If you want to see more, press subscribe. And if you've got anything to say, let me know in the comments section. Thanks again for joining me, and I hope that you have a great rest of the day.